Whiskey Styles, Brands, and Flavors Obviously, not all whiskeys of the same style taste alike. Otherwise, there'd only be one brand of each whiskey. Factors like water source, percentage of ingredients in the mash bill, aging, and the skill of the master distiller all come into play. In this presentation, we're going to review the basic profiles of each style and flavors from some popular brands that you're likely to see. This should give you a better idea about the differences between each style and some reference whiskey in each category to know the differences between them all. Bourbon Whiskey Essential Info Color Light Brown to Rich Amber Region United States Alcohol by Volume At least 40% Aged Yes In charred New Oak Barrels Made from 51% corn Filled out with rye, barley, or wheat Bourbon whiskey is considered by many a typical American product as it closely relates to its culture. It's a hot favorite amongst spirit enthusiasts, critics, and connoisseurs because of the golden amber color, smooth texture, and balanced flavors. Bourbon is a spirit that is distilled and created with the help of fermented grain mash and aged in charred new oak barrels. It's actually an array of distinctive flavors that is the result of a perfect fit between distillation methods, climate, equipment, and ingredients. Good bourbon should be aged so that the actual flavors and texture come through beautifully. Popular brands include Maker's Mark, Nose, Initial Sweetness, You're gonna get caramel, brown sugar, and it gives way to soft, fruity notes and vanilla. Flavors or palate, it's more savory than the nose suggests, with toasted nuts, and cinnamon notes. And it finishes, initially light, but sweet spice builds over time. Bullet Bourbon. The nose is rich and spicy with warming notes of cinnamon, nutmeg, and clove, and creme brulee, topped with a bit of sugar. Hints of dried apricot, grape, and almond as well. The palate. The flavors of a good spicy kick of rye first, and then softer notes of dried fruit and sweet spice follow. Toasty and nutty, with enough fruitiness to soften out the edges. And it finishes with a well-balanced mix of sweet spice and warming rye. Woodford Reserve Bourbon Appearance is clear, clean, brilliant honey amber. Nose, heavy with rich dried fruits and hints of mint and oranges covered with a dusting of cocoa, faint vanilla, and tobacco spice. Flavors, rich, chewy, rounded, and smooth complex citrus, cinnamon, and cocoa, toffee, caramel, and chocolate, and spice notes all around. It finishes silky smoothness, almost creamy at first, with a long, warm, satisfying finish. Other popular brands include Pappy Van Winkle, Jim Beam, Hudson Baby Bourbon, Buffalo Trace, Wild Turkey, Blanton's, Booker's, Knob Creek, Old Forester, Noah's Mill, Old Crow, Eagles Rare, Elijah Craig, Basil Hayden's, 1792, Angel's Envy, Four Roses, and Evan Williams. Tennessee Whiskey Brands Tennessee Whiskey Color, Light Brown to Rich Amber Region, Tennessee, United States Alcohol by Volume, at least 40% alcohol by volume Aged in charred new oak barrels Made from 51% corn, filled out with rye, barley, or wheat. Basically made in the same fashion as bourbon, Tennessee whiskey is differentiated by one more step, known as the Lincoln County process. To be labeled Tennessee whiskey, the whiskey must be charcoal filtered prior to aging. The charcoal used for Tennessee whiskey is obtained by specially selected sugar maple trees, which are often seasonally burned on the premises to make charcoal. Charcoal is used in distilling for its filtration properties. It removes the color from aged white rums as well. And here, it's thought to result in a smoother overall product, which is why the Lincoln County process is also referred to as charcoal mellowing. Other whiskey can be made in Tennessee, but unless they are 51% corn and use the Lincoln County process, they can't be labeled Tennessee whiskey. Rather, if they're made with a large proportion of rye or corn, it might be called Tennessee rye or Tennessee corn whiskey. There's also been some dispute as to whether whiskey is made in Tennessee but aged elsewhere, for example, Kentucky, can still be labeled Tennessee whiskey. From a drinker's perspective, though, 
Expect something rich and mellow, slightly lighter than bourbon, since the extra filtration removes more congeners. Popular brands include Jack Daniels, with a nose of brown sugar syrup, sour raisins, wood polish, resin, green leaves, and hints of wood glue. The palate is sweet with a light body and mouthfeel. Dutch chocolate strands on toast, orange touches, perfumed wood, and cinnamon. And then it finishes with chocolate orange, more of a wood polish finish, and some lingering char on the palate. George Dickel. A true sipping whiskey. Elegance and grace. Some people believe that this is the best Tennessee whiskey on the market. Nose is honey-soaked cornbread and rum agricole. Flavors of ripe nectarine and glazed citrus with hints of mint, green tea, and cinnamon. Some maple charcoal comes through and finishes with a bit ash flavor, but overall very smooth and polished. Benjamin Pritchard's Tennessee Whiskey This whiskey is made with white corn instead of the traditional yellow corn used in most bourbons and Tennessee whiskey. This whiskey is not shy with its sweet and spicy greeting of big nutmeg, vanilla, cinnamon, and almost reminiscent of eggnog, followed by a spicy white pepper and faint whispers of delicate, underripe red berries and apples. The flavors speak to a deeper tone of rich toasted malt, chocolate, sweet coffee, and dark cherries. The finish runs a modest course of rich malt and lingering spice that hangs on longer than expected. Other brands of Tennessee whiskey include Collier & McKeel and Nelson's Green Briar. Wheat Whiskey A relatively small category in American whiskey. Wheat whiskey must be made with a mash bill of at least 51% wheat. An example of this is Rough Stock Montana Spring Wheat Whiskey. Made from 100% wheat. The color is very light, like ginger ale, manila file folders, golden. The nose being youthful with oak, honey, hay, and lemon. And a palate that's lightly sweet and dry, with notes of cereal, and finishes very light and dry. Bernheim Original Wheat Whiskey. The nose being warm and sweet, with buttered toast and a hint of salt. Mixed spices and a distinct cherry character. Cooked fruit and a defined bakery note. Palate. Quite full and sweet, with freshly baked sweet buns and a stewed fruit note and mixed nut character. The finish being long and slightly dry with toasty spices. And a reservoir wheat whiskey. A nose of oak, honey, and caramel is followed by a velvety soft palate with floral notes, orange peel, herbs, and spices. It's been dubbed a beginner bourbon by its makers. Corn Whiskey A spirit with corn content of 80% or more. It's a liquid time machine taking us back to where it all began back in the days when poor American farmers took the cheapest raw material they had, corn, and turned it into whiskey. Some popular examples of this include Balcones Baby Blue Corn Whiskey Nose Soft vanilla and notes of candied peel, caramelized bananas, toasted oak and a little creaminess, and cereal sweetness. Palette. Rich, thick palate entry. Touch of dark caramel and baked apple with baking spices and salted butter. And it finishes spiced with a medium finish and quite sweet. Mellow Corn Whiskey. The nose, along with corn, has a healthy dose of vanilla. Sweet plantain and light oak are layered in. The palate is corn, the rich vanilla, dried banana chips, toasted oak, and mixed nuts are all present and easy to pick out thanks to a light mouthfeel. The finish, its uncomplicated finish consists of vanilla and corn as the predominant flavors, followed only by the slightest hint of fruit juice. Finish contains a small amount of heat up front, but it's the corn aftertaste that continues to linger for quite a while after each sip. And Platte Valley three-year-old corn whiskey. The nose having corn, vanilla, strawberry gummies, and a touch of spice and a hint of caramel. The palate, corn, vanilla, fruit, and very light spice. The fruit comes across like a hybrid of tropical and orchard fruit that's a bit heavier on the tropical notes. A banana apple nut, if you will. The finish. Gone in a flash, 
leaving only a fleeting impression of corn, vanilla, and dried fruit. Rye Whiskey In an era where strong flavors are back in style, rye is enjoying a new golden age. It has to have a mash content of at least 51% rye, which means it can't be called bourbon. And, if aged at least two years in new charred oak barrels, it can also be called straight rye. A popular example of rye whiskey is High West Rendezvous Rye. The nose. A big nose of cinnamon stick, clove, vanilla, peppermint, caramelized sugar, and dried fruit. The taste. Very spicy, with cinnamon, crisp mint, and fennel. Underlying sweet notes of caramel, molasses, vanilla, macaroon, cocoa, and candied fruit. And it finishes with a huge rye spice, cinnamon orange rind, and vanilla, and it lingers for a long time. Mitchers, U.S. number one, single barrel, straight rye. Mint, honeysuckle, and pepper fill out the nose, with more mint, fresh cut grass, and some spicy rye in the palate. The finish is long and spicy, with more honeysuckle, rye, and barrel wood coming through. Whistlepig, 10-year-old rye whiskey. The nose. Fresh peppermint and herbal thyme initially, with sweet vanilla and marzipan developing. Creamy butterscotch, raspberry jam, and orange rind rounded off. Palate. Warm baking spices, nutmeg, cinnamon, and allspice burst to life and are all tempered by a sweet sugar, bright oak, and dark chocolate. Vanilla cola and caramel shortbread linger as well. And it finishes with a medium length finish warm rye spice, sweet malt, and sour cherries. Whistlepig is distilled and initially aged in Canada, four years of further aging at Whistlepig Farm in Vermont, United States. This, as the owner puts it, is a Canadian-U.S. collaboration to the core. Other examples of rye whiskey include Rebel Yell Straight Rye Whiskey, Bullet Rye, Knob Creek Rye, Redemption Rye, Hudson Manhattan Rye, and Old Overhold Rye. Canadian whiskey. Although it shares certain characteristics with Scotch whiskey and bourbon, Canadian whiskey has a style of its own. Thanks to a unique means of production and the influences, sometimes subtle and sometimes obvious, of rye. Crown Royal, a flagship Canadian brand that everybody seems to know. Nose, rich and robust, with slight hints of vanilla and fruit. The body, full, robust, and perfectly balanced. The palate, delicately smooth and creamy with hints of oak and sweet flavors of vanilla. Finish, long and lingering. Canadian Club, aroma, fresh and soft with almond nuttiness and hints of peppery spice. Taste, spicy and zesty, complemented with hints of rich oak and sweet vanilla and pleasant sweetness. Finish, clean, dry and lingering with subtle oak. J.P. Weiser's Rye, a smooth amber rye whiskey with complex notes of caramel, toffee, and spice with subtle undertones of green apple and pear. Enjoy the roasted rye spice that complement the soft toffee and vanilla flavors neatly sipped on its own for a lingering green apple finish. Other Canadian whiskeys include Seagram's, Forty Creek, Caribou Crossing, Weiser's, Gibson's Finest Canadian Whiskey, Pendleton Whiskey, Black Velvet, Pike Creek, Glenora, Canadian Mist, Lot 40, Collingwood Whiskey, Windsor Canadian, Danfields Limited, Alberta Premium, Canadian Hunter, Canadian Limited, Rich and Rare, Hiram Walker Special Old, Royal Canadian, James Fox, Corby Royal, Canadian Host, McGinnis Silk Tassel, Pemberton Distillery, Canadian Supreme, Northern Light, Highwood Distillery, and Mr. Boston Five Star.